Grace Gowdy. Today, I'm gonna show you another delicious yet very easy one pot shot. We're gonna cook a Cabernet braised short rib. I love this recipe because you can do it for a special event like a holiday or a birthday or during the week when you're casual and just lounging on the couch. So first, we're gonna start with some short rib. We're using three pieces today. It comes out to be about three pounds, followed by some Cabernet wine. I don't like to get anything too expensive from the store, so I get something on the lower range. We have our salt, white onion, our tomato paste, a neutral oil, I like to use canola oil, garlic, and then our herbs, thyme, rosemary, and bay leaf. All right, so the star of the show, the short rib, of course. I like to get a piece of meat that has a bone in it. This adds a little bit of flavor to the dish. And then you gotta look for that inner marbling, which is the fat between the meat. This also will add some flavor and some tenderness to the dish. Of course, you have to season your short ribs. I like to put a good amount of salt on it, but you can change that to your preference. This will help season the entire broth when you go to cook it. Then I also add some black pepper to it as well. This again, just adds some more flavor. Once you have all your seasoning on the short rib, we're gonna go to the pot and give these short ribs a nice golden brown sear. Once you have all your ingredients prepped, you move over to the stove and we're gonna sear our short ribs. So get your heat on, you want a high heat, that way you can get a nice golden brown sear on those short ribs. If you're unsure of if your pot is hot enough, sprinkle a little water in. If it sizzles, you're ready to go. So we're gonna add our oil now. You wanna let the oil get hot for about 10, 15 seconds. Once your oil's nice and hot, we're gonna put those short ribs right in. So when we sear these short ribs, you wanna make sure the bone is on the top and the meat is on the bottom. You wanna get the meat colored. When I put it in the pot, I like to move it around a little bit to make sure the fat gets dispersed really nicely. Be careful, it's gonna sizzle a little bit, so be careful not to burn yourself. We're gonna let the short rib sear for about four to five minutes until you get that nice golden brown crust. If you notice the pot's getting a little bit too hot, turn your heat to medium high so you get a crust instead of a burn. Once one side is seared, you're gonna wanna sear all the other sides. You wanna make sure every part of the short rib has that nice crust around all the edges. While you're waiting for the short ribs to get seared, you can open your wine bottle. This cooking method is actually a dual cooking method. So it's a wet and dry combination cooking method. First you're searing, which would be the dry, and then you're braising, which would be the wet. You always wanna make sure you quality control your wine. All right, it's good. When you're searing something, it's all about your heat control. As I mentioned before, I lowered my heat because it was getting a little bit too hot. So you really wanna make sure you're controlling that heat so your short ribs don't burn. So if you see, it's not quite golden brown, but we're getting that crust right there, so we're on the way to perfection. Obviously, I'm using my hands to show you the short ribs, but the pan is quite hot. I am in a kitchen every day, so my fingertips are a little bit non-existent. I would suggest maybe using a spatula or a pair of tongs to get the short ribs in and out of the pan. So now that you have that nice golden brown crust, you're gonna flip your short ribs and sear every other side. Once you have all the sides seared, they're nice golden brown, you're gonna take all your short ribs out of the pan and set them aside. I like to lower my heat to a medium low heat here. That way when you introduce the onions to the fat, it doesn't burn. So now I'm gonna put the onions into the beef fat. All we're doing is sauteing these a little bit, try to get them cooked a tiny bit, but the short ribs will cook for quite a few hours, so the onions will continue to cook in that broth. I'm gonna add my garlic to the pan as well. Once your onions and garlic are sauteing and they're starting to cook, I'll add the tomato paste. When you add the tomato paste, you wanna be careful not to burn this as well, but you wanna develop a caramelization to add even more flavor to the dish. So you mix it all around, make sure the tomato paste covers all the onions and garlic and coats the bottom of the pan to get a nice caramelized flavor. All right, so my onions, tomato paste, and garlic are in a medium high heat, and I'm about to add the wine. As you can hear, it'll sizzle quite a bit, so again, be careful of the splatter. The wine will thicken up pretty quick, and for the three short ribs, you're actually gonna just add a whole bottle of wine to this. The wine will serve as the main cooking liquid. 
If you don't have wine on hand or you don't want to use wine, you can always use chicken stock, beef stock, vegetable stock, anything with a little bit of added flavor. Again, you're wanting to add the wine little by little so that it thickens rather than it being thin coming right out of the bottle. All right, so I'm gonna add the rest of the wine and then I'll put on a high heat and get that to reduce for about five minutes. You never want to add the short rib to the pot while it's boiling. This will cause the short rib to seize up and it'll become pretty tough. The goal of a short rib is for it to be fork tender, falling off the bone. Once your wine is reduced, lower that heat to medium low, that way it's not boiling. Once it simmers down a little bit, you're going to add your short ribs. Now here's the catch, you want to add them bone side down. So we seared them flesh side down, now you're going to braise them bone side down. Your liquid should be about halfway to three quarters of the way up the meat. Once you add your short ribs, you're letting the whole thing simmer, and then you're gonna add your herbs. We have our bay leaf, our thyme, and our rosemary. This will give the short ribs some nice, warm, herby flavor. Once everything's in your one pot shot, we're gonna put a lid on it and let it chill out in the oven. It's gonna cook at 225 for about five to six hours. All right, after about five, six hours, your short ribs are gonna be super tender, falling off the bone, and during all that time, I'm sure you've worked up quite the appetite. I'm gonna serve mine over a bed of arugula, but feel free to serve it over some polenta, on a sandwich, or over some rice. Anyway, is the most delicious thing ever. Mmm, it smells so good. Enjoy this one pot shot.